2016 nominee Questa, summer winning roll up uh, rapper MT, Prince KB, the winner of the Metro FM Award for Best Album, as well as uh, Major League DJs, uh, some of the hip hop giants that will headline uh, this year's Heavyweight Music Festival. The festival takes place at Carnival City on Youth Day 16 June. The event will also see emerging artists such as Younger K2, uh, DJ Khoto, Makeza in Moscow, as well as uh, DJ Funny Codes take to the stage. Now tell us more. We're joined by the event organizer, Richard Ramuzuli. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Leo. How are you? I'm good, thank good. you. Well, apart from the cold outside, we're good. Hey, <laughs> Let's talk about this uh, heavyweight. heavyweight music festival. Yes. What inspired it? Um, heavyweight, uh, we look at the artists like um, AKA, MT, and um, Questa and them. You find that most of these artists, they perform at the clubs. And then you don't have, like the youth or teenagers, they don't have an opportunity to see them performing. So we created mm. these events that they can also come. It's a daytime event. They can also come with their parents. Basically, this event is for youth of all ages. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Speak to us about the lineup. You touched a bit on AKA and, and MT. Uh, Questa, Who MT, else is on the lineup? Prince KB, Major League DJs. When we say they are heavyweights, we look at uh, the... Um, the, 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 the peak that, that the artists are on, then we decide, and more especially when we're looking at AKA Quest, all those five artists which are the headlining artists, they either nominated for metros, won the metros, or nominated for the summers, then mm. we call them the heavyweights. So those are the artists which are making waves in the, uh, in the, in the uh, South African music industry mm. at the moment, yes. Let's talk about the emerging artists. I believe you're also creating a platform for emerging artists. Yes, on each uh, event that uh, Tico Events host, we try and put in the upcoming artists just to give them a platform to perform with those uh, big artists. Mm. Yes. Okay, who are these uh, developing artists? Uh, we have uh, Magheza in Moscow, which are from Fosloras. Remember, the event is happening in Ekuruleni. So we're trying to empower the artists which are in Ekuruleni. DJ Levis is also from Ekuruleni. An emerging artist. We have K2 as well, but he's not from Ecuador, but he's making wave as well as an upcoming artist. We have Yanga who's supporting AKA. We saw Yanga uh, on the um, on the DreamWorks now. He's working with AKA, so we're trying to give him also a platform to perform with uh, the, the heavyweights. And what makes these artists like AKA, like MT, you know, such crowd pullers, in mm -hmm. your opinion? Um, like I said, mm. they, they, are, they, are, they are on the peak now. They are talk of the town, like they nominated for the metros. Uh, they won the metros, most especially AKA won the metros. Um, MT won the metros. Uh, Prince KB won the metros. And then now MT just won the, 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 the summers. And then uh, Major League DJs are on the peak. They're nominated for the, for, the, for, for the metros. And they were nominated earlier on the song of the year for, for, this, for the summers as well. So that those those are the peak that the, they are at the peak at the moment, and then now not forgetting Questa, Questa has got the biggest song in the country at the moment. Yeah. So those are the those are type of the artists that we want all the youth to see them as well at Carnival City. Is this the weekend the first of its kind? No, it's, the, it's, it's, it's for the second time running. Yeah. We had the event last year, but it didn't happen on, on June 16. It happens in May. It was sold out, so it's quite a famous, famous and popular event in Ekuruleni. Mm. Yeah. How has it grown since, and what are the lessons that came from hosting it last year? Um, like I said, it's more famous. It was sold out in two weeks, with two weeks to go. And then this year, we expanded the venue. We're taking the, cap the capacity to 5,000. Last year, it was 4,000. Mm -hmm. And then we said, let's move it to Youth Day, try to use this event to embrace the youth of 76, 40 years later, through arts and music in this case. Yeah. Yes. All right. So give us details of uh, ticket prices and what, you know, every festival goer needs to know before they head to Carnival City. It's a day event, like I said. We're trying to build an environment where it's friendly to everyone. And it's on holiday. The following day is um, it's, it's, it's a work day, even though to some might be might still be a holiday. But the event is starting at 12 o'clock, finishing up at 10 o'clock, giving uh, the attendees still have more time to go go home, rest, and go mm. back to work the following day. And then the ticket was starting from 125. The 125, 150 are sold out now. Now the tickets start from 200 rent, and then you can get them at Shopra Checkers, compete tickets. And why is Carnival City the best place to host your event? Um, there, there's uh, not too many events in Ekuruleni. And then the, the venue itself is friendlier, and then is very much safe.
All right. Richard, thank you so much for talking thank to us. Thank you very much for your Richard time. Richard Ramuzuri is the event organizer of the Heavyweights Music Festival taking place at Carnival City on Youth Day 16 June, um, featuring AKA, there you have it there in your shot there as it changes, AKA uh, MT, who's just won uh, an award, Major League DJs, there you go, uh, Cuesta, uh, and then Prince KB, there we go, AKA um, in your shot there. And then um, it is on the 16th of June at Carnival City, Prince KB. All right, let's take a nap break. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.